Welcome back, guys, to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Where last episode, we set out on the high seas to begin Chapter 13, where angels fear to tread, following the Turk signal to the Temple of the Ancients as the Shinra employees did their duty and made the structure appear from nothing, assembling itself before their eyes. Arriving after its construction, we have started our break-in through Shinra's forces, reaching the labyrinth within. I gotta check every corner for goodies, and I'm assuming the map isn't gonna be that ex expressive of where we are. Oh, hello! <laughs> Got blight frogs here. Too bad. I think the blight frogs are dead, though, both of them. Fun the lizard! Carnivorous creatures that prowl the Temple of the Ancients' labyrinth vine halls. Though they were on the verge of extinction in ages past, the Cetra's preservation efforts saw their numbers return. They now function as part of the temple's defensives. While they are waiting to ambush prey, landing a limit attack or exploring their elemental weakness with magic will pressure them. Interesting that it's limit attack specifically. I think the guys that were like that before, of course, were a powerful attack, weren't they? He's in ambush. Calling ice. Uh, we'll just pressure it, or more or less kill it. Hey, were there monsters already? If the temple was just formed from nothing, did the monsters just poof into existence? Why not? How are monsters made? After all, shall be queen. Oh, uh, that guy's had a very bad day. We're going to see a lot of dead people here. I think you've got to remember that Cloud and Co. didn't really go around killing lots of Shinra troopers. It was probably mostly knocking out people, which is why it was expressly shown that Cloud was going berserk in the reactor a fair bit, most likely. And that was killing, right? What's going on? <laughs> Do you want me to shift gravity to you? Okay, so we can only go to two points. Oh no, we can go all the way up the other side. We just get turned upside down? Or the temple did. Depends how you look at it. Yep, that's the thing. I mean, the sky looks to be up, right? Right? I think there's water on this bit now. <laughs> and down. The sky is up and down. Never mind. a great battle here long ago. So many lives lost. Pocket dimension is what you'd get from looking at the down and up sky, isn't it? Not of this world. Ancient dragons. I need to land so I can use assess. But this goes seven crossing me. Everyone lizards that live in the temple of the ancients. They are bred by the Cetra to serve as one of the temple's lines of defenses. So they were bred here. They were always here. They were just now unleashed. Hitting them with melee attacks when they descend will pressure them, but they will immediately resume their flight if your assault is interrupted. And I just charge right through. Do you have an elemental weakness win? Let's do this. Oh, 
Fizzy Zen was probably a little overkill for what we did in the end. Try to blow me up! I'll just spend my entire time flying with you in the air. That's fine. This is where we live now, up in the air. says no one who enters the temple ever comes out. Why am I only hearing this now? Asshole was probably lying through his teeth. Don't pay it no mind. So you say, warding us away, being a nice friend, eh? Do you think they just released all these rogue men in here then just to be like the pointer for the way? Not a terrible system from them. A slip stream saber. There we go. Weaponry. And probably a good indication of how far we are through each location when you think about it. A lot lower on the attack stat. A lot higher on the magic attack stat. Of course, there's bonuses. Counter stance. Brace for attacks and retaliate. Activate at the right time to reduce damage. Can use while airborne. Everything's linked up over here as well now. So we do get some attack damage plus 5% for basic attacks. Even more magic attack power if we want to. Uh, MP recovery rate up. Max MP up. Formidable counter. Increases punisher mode counter damage by 15%. I mean, I do actually use that a little bit. Attack damage in the formidable counter maybe? And I get that from probably using the ability. Which would hint it needing to be more of a... You know... On option use. So let's put instead of... Triple slash, let's put the counter stance on. Though I feel like just pressing triangle is good enough for me. Ooh... Check out my fancy new Glam. Right, so you want me to go back on the vines? <laughs> I feel a bit more worried. Seeing the other people do the animation, yeah, seeing Red do it was a bit more disconcerting. I thought Red was just throwing himself off. Definitely feel like the other sword was a lot more lethal looking. I guess I always need to change it 180 degrees. Let's see if that stays true. I will admit to be having it. That's just weird. If I looked up then, I would have seen people's dead bodies on the ceiling by the look of things. Does the music change every time we change area? Wait. There's actually a front for these chests. Okay. They look kind of symmetrical to me. They open from the center. Why is there a front? 
I guess that's where the button is. Are they ambushing? They are ambushing. Wish I got both. Good win, to be honest, wasn't it? Get him! I get it. Gotta get with me. I guess I can't press just triangle in midair then. So actually, doing that wasn't bad at all. I'll take it. Seems like a good way to get through things. Guess I can duel in the air even better now. I reckon there's a weapon for absolutely everyone here, as big dungeons at the end of the game usually contain. So that will be our timer, you could say, for how much is left. So you can activate them wrong then. <laughs> it's good to know. Oh no, did he go in a war full of blooming Mako? Life streams that were we? Well ain't that unfortunate. So watch where you're standing. That's our actual destination. You're dead. So what happens if I assess you, Froggy? Too bad. Might be trembled. Amphibious creatures found the Temple of the Ancients spread by the Cetra for research into toxins. After the fall of the Cetra in civilization, they continued to breed unchecked. They can now be found in all corners of the temple. Exploring their elemental weakness will pressure them. Here we go. Shit. You bounce multiple times to do your bullfrog stuff. Petrifying beam. Don't think you'll walk away from this. If we kill the first one at the very least, that would be nice. You're done. That's that. Moving on then. Nice shot there, Aerith, with your synergy. X potion. Oh, the music is good as always. Why wouldn't it be, eh? It's just the fate thought of like how many remixes have they done just for this familiar music track. <laughs> like they've done with so many. Uh, is it my imagination or does there seem to be like a back area here? Fiddling around places like this is how you get yourself falling off into an abyss that you don't know. Like, considering we have two skies here, what happens if you touch the outer limits of them? Or do you just fall forever until you, like, die of shock or heart failure? <laughs> Let's not think about that poor guy's fate. Thankfully, we know the Midgar 7th isn't involved in this. They're not trusted anymore and they were stationed elsewhere. So, good times. They'll stay in Junon and be completely safe. I'm sure nothing will ever march on Junon. Nothing will ever happen to Junon. They'll be totally safe. So you would fall endlessly in a portal loop? Now there's got to be a point where your heart would give out and stuff like that. 
Imagine being that, you know, you'd, you'd be terrified to death. And where do I want to land this? Because, like, that guy's on that side. I can definitely come out a little bit here. Are you on the... Co oh, there's a chest def directly above us. I think we want to be where that guy is. I wouldn't mind getting the chest first. And so your corpse will still be falling? Yeah, but I don't think you care at that point. <laughs> Personally, I just don't think I'd care at that point. I agree. I don't like this at all. It's like people can die, do or do die. No, he's intelligent. <laughs> I don't want to... Let's see. Barrett's reply is the exact same reply I give. It's not going to make me go that way, is it? Well, I think you can die from falling without actually hitting the ground, right? After all, you could die just from standing around. We go down there. <laughs> the way Barrett climbs stuff scares you. Well, it's not like he has much of an option, is it? Maybe you could have a hand hand instead of a gun hand. Hold him here. That might help him out a little bit. Come on, guys. Just kill us two sea soldier upgrades. He's the biggest battlefield guy. Solid from above. <laughs> Mesh. Yes, falling down that thing would put an immense strain on the heart. I'm always quite interested by the the variance in my heart rate between when I'm running or not. <laughs> I'm just like, Whoa, should it really be that high? Oh, so we've got this weird ball thing. Where's this supposed to go? <laughs> I've got a weird ball thing. Let's just put it on the middle of this platform. Thanks, game! <laughs> it registered that I'm dumb. <laughs> be honest, you didn't actually give me a chance to experiment. I probably would have preferred a little bit of a chance. <laughs> It was like Aloy just suddenly talked to me again, cross games.
I haven't even got to look at the puzzle yet, Sony. <laughs> but it might not be Sony for all that much longer, you know what I mean? This is the only way we can catch up to the others. Now jump, goddammit. Uh, okay, just give me a moment, sir. <laughs> We have to go that way? It said the main scenario is chasing waterfalls, but I'm pretty sure the song asked me not to go chasing them. I was supposed to stick to the rivers and the streams. You know, the things that I'm used to. A Giga Potion. Well, I guess both Barrett and me are going to be incredibly saddened by the fact that we have to jump. Oh, whoa! <laughs> I didn't! That was a sudden jump. You didn't even let me look over the edge. Wait, did you jump too far and you went kunk? Oh, 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 oh man! Oof. That's just unfortunate. Suddenly, my ribcage is within my nostrils. That's not good. to do stuff first. <laughs> Gotta love Aerith just arrowing people to suck them towards her every time they get staggered at this rate. Come on. Nice counter stats now, not triple slash. I think the frog's weak to it as well. Did the frog get caught in that? Must have. Cloud said it looked like he was jumping too far. Yeah, I was surprised by the sudden acceleration. <laughs> That's not how I would have done it. I would have looked over the edge and stepped off daintily. Oh, and if it's going on here, so there's a climbing spot that can go up and down and round. And even down there, actually. Is where the puzzles become puzzles. There go that one. Sure. Surely that one means that there's a treasure chest here. That's what I'll choose to believe anyway. I'm going the right way, aren't I? Don't surprise me.
flying high in the sky, don't mind me. Reflective shell, you say? Oh, you didn't attack me. Now you are, though, after I've done that. I guess it still counts as a small attack. You're done. Time to get Da, 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 da. Right, so we came up here, but for what? I was expecting to find like a purple pleasure chest, maybe? I'm getting a bit too close to the destination. Ooh, purple materia instead. Experience that materia. That I maybe was not expecting to find. I haven't learned to rise yet. Uh, find out what it does first. I mean, obviously, it puts experience up. Increase experience earned by 100%. On the person or on the party? That in itself is the real question. I think there's anything specifically I want to remove from you. Here, yeah, Tifa, have experience that material. We'll see what that exactly does. That's increased skill earned by 100%, so that would be everyone because the guild totals are the same. We'll see. Tifa's going to have experience up materia. <laughs> Stop going near the edge cloud. Stop being so easily able to just jump to these locations. Even when I go the wrong way. Okay, so we definitely want to turn it that way. <laughs> and I'm assuming the yellow way is a non- a no-go area. I mean, you can only go to two different areas, can't you? I'm so confused! <laughs> It's only the light you up one. It wouldn't dump you out the wrong direction, yeah. I think I am correct in that assumption. Where do I want to go? No, I'm too, conf I'm too confused by the shifting gravity side of things. Oh, you just hold the direction again. I'm going to throw myself out of this location. I really am. Well, there's some dead dudes. And this looks more like a path forward. Oh, yeah. Okay, so definitely the other way for goodies. I am very consistently losing my perspective. Let's just do a sickening climb on the outer wall instead, because that's what we wanted to do. I'm guessing there might be a treasure chest on the outside edge. Stop it with all the purple stuff. That usually means good treasure chest. Go on. Here it comes. Come on. You missed. 
There's, there's a bit like, obviously I can't follow out of bounds, right? So I'm not at risk of flying off the, the map from my attacks. You'd like to think. But it, the worry's always there. Da, 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 da. Oh, a lot of grabby vine areas, isn't there? I'm just wondering if there was a. <laughs> an area over here to get to. Ah, so there is a ledge. But not a ledge we can navigate on to. No visible chests. A Cetron Bangle has been obtained. We've got an enhanced Garm Bangle currently. It's better in defense and magic defense and gives you an extra slot. Oh, no, it's just zero slots. A bangle that embodies the resolute will of the ancients and confers supreme physical defense. I don't even think it's that. Zero slots, but supreme physical defense. Excellent. I'm sure there's a use for it. To be honest, I could probably get to the transmute at this point in time. Transmute lots of, like, upgraded stuff. Like the enhanced expeditionary medal. The illustrious sever for that. We've been buying all this stuff from the gold source a while ago. Pirate jets them as well. Let's make this and see if we can up our craftsmanship level. Enhanced Draconic Ring. Increases max HP by 5%. Increase the limit gauge charge rate upon successfully blocking. That's pretty good. Rubber Ring extends duration of detrimental status effects by defaults and reduces duration of detrimental status effects inflicted on the wearer as well. That's a boost in stats from 30 to 50, I think, for the vitality and spirit from the Enhanced Comic Cow with immunity to slow and instant death. Max MP and magic power by 8% and immunity to silence. And enhanced camaraderie earrings. I've never made the camaraderie earrings, interestingly. I'm guessing I totally can. Or can't. I need a quest to Cottle Talon. No. I'm not a comrade. Not today. Enhanced Resplendent Bracer, Enhanced Yggdrasil Armlet. Doesn't seem like there's anything else I could do. Like, I'm on the... I'm 10 points away. There's definitely some stuff on the board that can be made. I just don't have the materials for them. So, non-full crafter ship, ship level. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Well, that's a bit of an away. Bedus. Wah! Wah! <laughs> what? 